Hey you guys, it's Jeffrey with Howl's Carpet Cleaning here and I'm at the point of time of year where things have slowed down quite a bit and what I'm going to do is I'm going to share a couple of ideas of my, my, uh, my off time that I've got right now. I always am looking for ways to improve and move ahead. I mean even if I'm not working at the moment, I'm always looking for things to uh, expedite my time, efficiency, and all that. So in the end, it all it all pays off. All right, and for some of you guys who are new to this channel or have not seen some of my previous videos concerning this particular issue or topic, um, this is my staining kit here. I'm not going to go over any of the contents of whatever is in it because that's not really what this particular video is about. Um, this video is about, um, I've got these boxes here. And basically it's just organizing your equipment in such a fashion that it saves you time on the job as far as loading, unloading your truck and knowing where all of your equipment is and how to get to it when you need it without having to dig through and tear through boxes. Now, um, I have tried all different means of trying to organize stuff. I had some large 40-gallon um, container, you know, rubber-made containers that I would put equipment and things in, and that worked for a little while, but um, it seemed like it was just too cluttery where you were, like, digging for, you are digging through boxes looking for certain pieces of equipment, and the boxes are so large that, you know, it's not really convenient to be hauling in 40-gallon containers into a person's or 20-gallon containers or whatever the size was into a person's home. Um, that just wasn't working out too well. So, um, the first thing, first step, um, everybody uses terry cloth towels, whether, you know, for stain removal, for whatever purpose but the first problem that I ran into is how do you keep these darn things dry um, for the longest time I was wrapping them up and putting them in uh, plastic bags um, uh, in some cases I was just you know putting them in that big large 20 gallon box and carrying them around and finally this option here seemed to do be the best I mean this was literally like a two dollar plastic rubber container uh, stir light or whatever um, you can pick them up at Home Depot or whatever super cheap I think it even came in a two pack and I you know rewash I wash and reuse it, the uh, terry cloth towels as much as I possibly can um, when they get looking a little bit like that one on top it's kind of an indicator that eh, maybe I should get rid of it um, terry cloth towels are cheap enough that it, it's nice just to have a bunch of nice, bright, white, clean ones because it looks um, better in the customer's eyes. And, wow, this guy's really on top of his stuff. So just throw them out and get some new ones. I mean, you could use them forever for absorbing stains because it really doesn't matter how dirty they are. Um, use them, run them through the wash, get them clean, fold them up. And this container keeps them organized. It keeps them... In a nice orderly fashion, uh, keeps them dry, and uh, it's very nice and convenient, stackable. Um, I can, you know, put that down on the uh, center console area between the two seats of my my van. Put my clipboard on top, whatever. You know, it's very nice and compact and clean. Um, if I wanted to, I could even take my staining kit. And place it right on top and it's just very nice and stackable way of doing things all right you guys so uh this is one of the first boxes that i got and what this is more or less being used for now um i did get it as a general purpose toolbox to put tools and things in but now i'm pretty much using it for miscellaneous parts i mean i've got gloves eye protection respirators faucet key um, this is actually a handle to make the uh, the Kirby vacuum cleaner a hand vac so you, you pop off the uh, the long 
handle it for the upright and put that on there. Um, I do have a separate vac that I use for for uh, uh, stairways, but I always try to keep you know some backup things to fall upon in case you know a piece of equipment breaks or jams or belt breaks or whatever. So I've got filter belts, um, lubricator for the the truck mount. Some miscellaneous spotters that from ProCam or Pro Choice that I've never used or opened, so. but they're there. So, and just a moment. Okay, and another thing that's nice about this particular box is that it's got these top compartments on here. So what I have here, this is this is a uh, piece of equipment for one of my extractors. It's actually a male to male adapter. So. Um, or I'm sorry, female to female. Got another key, faucet key in there. We've got a faucet adapter. So we've got some miscellaneous bottle caps, some more Kirby belts. Um, one thing that comes in extremely handy if you're working in older homes that don't have a three prong outlet, you're pretty much SOL if you don't have an adapter <laughs> to help you out there. Um, some other miscellaneous parts, earplugs, um, you guys, these, uh, having uh, an array of uh, gaskets for, for hoses is extremely important. I mean, it sucks if you go to a neighbor's house or, you know, anybody's home and plug up water and realize that they don't have a gasket or your gasket fell out and it's leaking water all over the place. So this is just a quick fix to have it on you caps, just other miscellaneous stuff. So like I said, this is like a, an all-around miscellaneous toolbox. Um, I know what's in there, and so it's like all the other pieces that don't necessarily fit into the other boxes are actually kept in here in this storage. So when I need one of those items, I know exactly where to go to find them, and I'm not having to dig through, you know, boxes or crates of things. All right, and this box here has just been repurposed with this tool. I replaced a box and then I put a piece of t a tool in here because this box is longer than some of the other boxes. So I don't have a whole lot in here. Um, I use this machine here, buffer. I've got a terry cloth uh, bonnet pad on there. And I also um, have been using these quickie absorbent towels that come in really handy when you're doing stairways or whenever you're around transition areas where overspray can get onto the floor you just use one of these and absorb it right up um, those work extremely excellent they're like two bucks at Home Depot in the cleaning section and they work great for their purpose this is just a Harbor Freight tool of one kind a drill master <laughs> I don't I don't know, you can go on YouTube and you can find out all kinds of information about name brand equipment versus Chinese no-name stuff. And it's, a lot of it is quite interesting. But anyways, this works great for working on the bull nose and just getting, you know, some agitation. So that's what this tool is used for. And that is the purpose of this box. It doesn't go into every home. However, when I go and meet the customer at their house and I do the preliminary walkthrough with them, I'm also calculating, okay, what tools am I needing? Do I need my stair tools? Do I need upholstery tools? You know, what exactly do I need? So this is kind of in there on the, the stair tool box section. However, I do have another box that's dedicated specifically to uh, the stair equipment. Okay, and here is my other stair toolbox. We take a look in here. You can see I've got a, a small uh, vacuum cleaner that I have dedicated specifically to stairways. Um, it has a beater bar on it, on it, so it works excellent for beating dirt and pulling pet hair and stuff out of there. I also have a my crevice tool in here. Um, I used to have all of my tools, like my upholstery tools, also in there. You can see under there. Um, I used to have these just sitting in a big black crate. 
and then I would just grab the tools out as I needed them. But it made a lot more sense. Hey, let's just have all this stuff in one box that we can pick up and go, and then we just pull them out and use them as we need them instead of having um, items sporadically kind of all over the place. So instead of pulling out and carrying items individually, you just keep them all rocked together, and it makes a lot more sense. Also have a brush down there for agitation. I've got my my stair tool, stair hang, hose hanger for the stairways um, to prevent gravity from coming down. And so this has wor been working really great. Um, yeah, so let's move on to the next box. And finally, I have the stain kit box. This goes along with our stain kit, which... I have over there. We're not going to go into the items of the stain kit. However, in the stain kit, what I have basically is my um, Black & Decker Steamworks uh, wallpaper stripper. Um, it's very, it's almost identical to the Namco version that's out there. It does the exact same thing. The Namco version is just kind of a newer, updated version. And the Black & Decker has since discontinued this particular model, but it works just as well. Um, this was 22 bucks off of eBay. Um, it is older. When you buy these older products, they may work for a week or two or a month or a couple months and break on you. But uh, I took a gamble. It was 22 bucks. Um, the Namco again was like 150, 160 bucks. You know, depending on the distributor that you buy it from, um, it works almost identical. So 22 versus 145, 160, however much you pay for it. Um, I have my fake carpet shark in here as well, or I'm sorry, water claw. And then also what I have in here is, um, it's 50% distilled water and 50% uh, like cleaning vinegar stuff so that you, you got to pick that up at Fred Meyer's. I'm kind of repurposing the Powerade bottle so you don't want to drink this stuff. But it works excellent for uh, helping you steam stuff out because it does have some cleaning properties because the the cleaning vinegar, I believe, has a pH of, I don't know what vinegar has a pH of 2.4 or something like that. So 50 add 50% um, distilled water to it and it brings it up probably closer to a 4, 4 or 5 pH maybe and you know that has the ability to to steam out a lot of red stuff you don't have to use um, the pro choice expensive cleaner that stains stuff out it works very well but this will um, actually pull out or steam out a lot of red stuff you just want to be careful but I, I carry that on on there just so that you know I, I have a source of some liquid right here with me so I can easily steam candy and such out without having to uh, go fill up our, our reservoir container, bathroom, restroom sink or kitchen or wherever. So this again is extremely handy to have this box because when I'm doing uh, specialty stain removal, I'll grab this box along with our stain kit and go on into the house with it. So it's very easy, very convenient to have everything all ready to go in one location. And to tie things up, it's like everybody has their own method and way of doing things. And I'm just sharing what I have learned that has really worked for me. Um, I've looked at videos and looked to see what other people are doing and try to pick and pull and put together a system that seems to work with my van. I mean, that's one thing is that not everybody's van setup is the same, so not everybody can can load things into their vehicle exactly the same way, and you just got to come up with a system that works best for you. Um, for me, having everything neatly stacked and taking up the least amount of uh, floor space as possible inside the the van seems to work the best 
for me because I carry around lots of different types of equipment. Um, I like having my CRB on board. I like having fans on board. I like having, um, if possible, I like to have my uh, low speed on board. I like to have my Rotovac on board. I, I like to have all these things on my, my van. And in order to do so, I've got to, to find a a uh, clever, unique way to kind of get things as organized as possible to take up the least amount of space. So I hope this helps you guys out who are starting out in the business and just kind of looking for ideas and how to, uh, to set things up in a way that makes sense, keeps you organized so you're not fumbling around looking for stuff. And if you have any comments, please put them in the space below because I read them and We'd love to engage in any uh, conversation. You guys have a good one. Until next time, it's Jeffrey Howells Carpet Cleaning. Have a great day. And one last box that was on the truck that I almost forgot about. This is my my uh, furniture sliders. These are very convenient. You just stick them under heavy pieces of furniture and then they effortlessly slide across the surface of carpeting because they're basically little casters. These here are made of plastic. They're about 50 cents a piece probably at Home Depot. You can pick them up. And then I also have styrofoam blocks for setting up table feet and things up off of the uh, damp carpeting when you're, when you're done cleaning. You pick tables up and put these under the feet just to get them off the ground so they're not uh, transferring furniture stain or rust back onto the carpeting. So, um, again, this was something else that I used to have, you know, all piled up in a bag or box or, you know, big whatever mess every time that I went to use them. And now they're all right here in a box, very convenient, don't have to dig through anything. All I do is just grab the box, open it up, and go to town. So um, there's a front room area with some furniture that I'm going to be working in. I just grab this box during the setup time and leave it in the front room, and it's right there, handy and ready to go. And for our next tip, um, what I use for uh, spraying my pre-spray down, I use a uh, 3M multi-sprayer. Some guys like them, some guys don't. It all depends on what you're accustomed to using, whether it be a Hydro Force or whatever. There's no wrong or right way to do it. Um, but however, these S-style jugs, there, there are two gallons. And what I like to do, I always like to keep two filled on the truck with water in them ready to go um however that depends on the granules or product that you're going to be using some of them require you to use hot water and others of them can mix in cold and it doesn't really matter um, it depends on the chemistry of the product that you're using the, the soap free solution by master blend as you can see there it's carbonated it's odor free uh, free rinsing, gluten free. It's basically an encapsulation based cleaner that works very well. It is uh, peroxide based, so um, you get all the benefits of peroxide cleaner in there. It works extremely well, and in most situations, mostly residential, this works very well. Um, however, when you're starting to work with uh, nasty grease and stuff in restaurants you really got to move over to another completely different product because this ain't going to do nothing for you but stairways bedrooms dining rooms front rooms it pretty much uh obliterates and takes care of all organic matter and things in the carpeting um makes stairways look awesome works great on coffee spills red you know not necessarily red wine um well, I'm sorry, I take that back. Red wine, it works very well. If red wine leaves a stain, you want to steam it out with that, uh, some, like, uh, Pro's Choice Red One and steam it out with that wallpaper stripper or the Amco, um, steamer. I don't even know what that particular unit is even called. I know it's by a company called A Amco? No, Namco. A company called Namco. But anyways, um, this 
product here is my urine remover. It is a deodorizer and it pulls out staining as well. However, that has to be mixed in a hot water and it only has a 15 minute life. So this stuff here I would use in situations where I've got water on the truck. If I'm having to deal with animal stuff and make up some of my pee eradicator by VacAway, I will grab an empty jug or something from some form that I have on board the truck and I'll go into the house and I'll use a customer's hot water and make it up then. Um, of course, because it only has a 15 minute life, it doesn't make any sense to make it up beforehand. Anyways, so um, the other thing that this product does is that it's very foaming. So it's reactive and it'll start bubbling over and everything. So usually I'll use one of these gallons, make sure I don't put the cap on it and make like one gallon at a time because it will, if it's left in there and the water's too hot, it will cause even a gallon to <clears throat> foam out all over the place. So got to be careful with stuff like that, but that's just the nature of the chemistry and you'll get used to whatever product it is that you're using. Um, another thing that I do As you can see, and I'm remove this lid here, I have pre-measured into a plastic baggie the amount required for one of these jugs here. Now, one of the benefits that I get from having it inside of that uh, little plastic baggie here, when the baggie is opened, it allows you to use it as almost like a funnel so you can easily um, dump all that stuff down by holding the bag taut on both sides and just letting the, the granules kind of flow out very uh, mess free and dump it straight into the neck of this bottle um, what happens if you try using the scoop the measuring scoop that it comes with is that you're going to be fumbling around and you're going to be dumping granules all over the place while trying to dump it into into the, the the narrow neck there so this is a little trick that I started using um, uh, I think it was just something that I decided hey I wonder if that would work and lo and behold it works really good so um, a lot of times I'll make up two or three of these packets and just keep them inside of the bottle there the canister and then when I need to make up some solution I just grab one and dump it straight in a um, little bit of legwork ahead of time at home you know fill up some bags get them ready to go and it will save you a lot of time in measuring and dumping granules out on the job so that everything stays nice and clean Your truck stays clean you're not dumping stuff out anywhere the customer's house stays clean depending on where you're making this stuff up and it works very well in any product mixes on this obviously this p eradicator mixes up at a different uh, dilution ratio than this does but i can do the exact same thing measure out what i need per gallon and have it ready there sitting ready to go so when i get to the customer's house all i got to do is grab the bag and dump the product into the container and um this stuff does need to uh mix up a little bit so that's just knowing what product needs hot water and which product can be mixed with lukewarm or um, room temperature water and with all that said you guys I want to thank you for uh, you know watching the videos and get this going I do use them to help guys rank their 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 uh, businesses locally on Google Maps and having you know the 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 viewership and the the, the subscribers really helps to rank things and i want to thank you all for that and um i hope that you know thank you for getting in discussion and you know sharing your ideas and comments and thoughts so that we as carpet cleaners can better ourselves and move on um it's really hard going about this business on as a uh, 
you know, lone star, <laughs> so to say. Um, this isn't something that's easy to do by yourself, and it really helps having uh, uh, a group of people who have been there and fought the battles before you to give you a, kind of give you a nudge and an idea of what to expect and how to accomplish certain things. Um, that's what I hope to be able to do to help mentor somebody and plus I enjoy and appreciate other people and have been in the business far longer than I have uh, you know mentoring me and giving me thoughts and ideas and things that I have never thought of so uh, I hope that we'll all be able to feed off of each other and move on forward successfully into the future and clean as many carpets as possible and uh, make this filthy world a cleaner place.